It's Melinda Smith. I am the creator and owner of the blog 123imaginationalive.com. Today we'll be casting on our yarn or casting on your yarn. I'm going to show you how to do that today. We're going to start with a tool which is a crochet hook. This is a um, size N or a 10 millimeter. I just recommend getting something bigger for smaller hands and beginners. It's easier to learn that way. This is chunky yarn. I bought it at a craft store. I recommend that too because it's easier to learn how to follow stitches and be able to see um, different techniques that you're doing versus the regular size yarn. Okay, here we go. You're going to hold the tail of the yarn, which is this. You're going to hold that in your right hand. You're going to hold your index finger out like this, your pointy finger. You're going to hold it out. And you are going to wrap the yarn away from your heart and back around. When you do that, it's going to create a loop. This is the yarn's tail, and there's the yarn, there's the hole. Let's do it one more time. Put the tail in your right hand, index finger out, wrap the yarn away from your heart, pull your finger out, see the hole, there's the tail. Now, let's get this yarn on this hook. Let's cast it on. Take your crochet hook. My kids like to call that the pirate's eye. Well, you're going to get him right in the eyes. Just go straight through. Okay? We're not going to come around the back side or we're going to go straight through. Okay? Hold that tail. Take your yarn and go over the hook and pull that loop through. Tight. There you go. Now you have the tail. It's longer because I pulled it tighter. The rest of your yarn will be over here. There's a whole big ball, see? You have correctly casting or cast it on your yarn. So this is lesson one in a series of teaching kids to crochet. You're doing great.